Hello everyone. How is everyone doing today on this lovely day? It's a beautiful day here in Raglan. Uh, a good day to be stuck at home really, isn't it? Um, I've been, as per usual, I'm all set up here to do my live coaching. I just went live um, with uh, eight or nine people to teach them about improvising piano at home in the style of contemporary classical, new age, minimal, whatever you want to call it. Um, we looked at lots of different riffing styles and it was loads of fun. We had two sessions, one on Sunday and one this morning. And obviously I've just done that and I thought I'm all set up. Usually it's a, a fair bit of tech going on. <laughs> and so I thought, you know, why don't I do something for my Facebook people? So here is a live I thought I've been learning I've been jamming this song recently um it's somewhat thematic to the times we're in but it's just a fun song I just love it it's by the artist um Leanne Le Havis and this song is called Unstoppable and it's really fun it's a really 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 fun song so I thought I've been learning it it's taken me a while to actually get the rhythms quite difficult rhythms but I wanted to come on and perform that for you but also do a little hack that riff uh, like the YouTube videos that I've done quite a bit of where I take uh, one section of a song a main riff of a song and teach that to you guys so this is a bit of a treat because I don't normally teach piano on social media I try to keep that for um, the members in my website but today I'm feeling generous so um let's do that if you're here if you come along and if you um watching the replay or you're watching this live say hi so that i know who's there um i'm just gonna bring up the comments so that i can see if anyone say hi um that would be cool so this is unstoppable stoppable by leanna havis uh let's go through the main riff yeah Cool. So, um, I'm using a, a sort of a Rhodes sound here, um, just because I think it sounds nice at the start of the song. But you don't have to. You can just use your piano. The first, we've got the four chords, or essentially three songs, uh, three chords with a little bit of a change. So we're playing. First, this this is a lot of black keys. The song, and that that can be intimidating at first, but actually, it means it's easier when you know that you're just playing a bunch of black keys. It's easier to find the notes for me, anyway. Our first chord is, you can see that there, is a E flat minor with a minor seven on top. So we've got all the black black keys: E flat, G flat, B flat, D flat. And then we've got the bass, which is an E flat, or we can play the fifth. Da -da 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 -da. And we're just holding that chord. What I recommend with these chords is um, you play it like a ripple chord. So that means we're rippling it from the bottom to the top. So slow motion, that's when we speed it up. But rather than like an arpeggio, which, we're, which is quite slow, we're holding all those notes and we're playing it fast. It's a ripple chord, okay? So that's our first chord. Then what we're doing is we're playing an F minor seven. So we're going from here in the left hand to here. And our right hand is actually just gonna play these notes here. So we're staying on the E flat and then we're changing to A flat and C. So we're going from here. So first chord. So we hold that for quite a while. And then the second chord, F minor 7. And then we're going to our third chord, which is a B flat sus4. We've got B flat at the bottom, B flat in the middle, F, B flat at the top. And then for the fourth chord, all we're doing is moving this thumb down to the D. And that's taking us to the B flat major. So first chord, E flat minus seven. 
holding that for ages. Then we've got F minus 7. Then B flat sus4, B flat major. Okay, so the lyrics that go with that is I'll wait a little longer where we can get in stronger. I know it's taking the time to hear. And then it repeats. We'll be unstoppable. I don't know what I did it for. I needed to know that it was always real. Okay. Now, if you go into the next section, uh, it's just the same chords, but um, what we're adding is the F. So instead of just this situation, and we're coming down, instead of just this situation, we're adding the F. What's on the line, honey? On a calm, clear, clear night sky. Same chord, but just in a different inversion. And then repeat. If you want to, you can just play, instead of coming down here, you can play it, keep playing it up there. But just add that F. So when you listen to the song, you'll know the different sections I'm talking about. Essentially the same four chords go through the whole song, except for when we get to the chorus, we're adding this F uh, G flat. So um, instead of it starting on the E flat like we did up here, and then in the second section, we are adding the F instead of the F sharp. For the chorus, we the essentially the same chord, but the bass instead of playing E flat is playing G flat, right? And then going down to the E flat. Then we've got a B flat uh, minor seven, but essentially playing B flat in the bottom, and then F A flat D flat up the top. Then we're going to a G minor seven. G in the bass, F, B flat, D up the top. Okay, so that's the chorus. It's slightly different. So we've got the start. B flat, sus, B flat, repeat. We'll be unstoppable. Don't know what it did for. Making it into a Michael Jackson song. The second section is the same chords, but we're just adding. so I know who's watching otherwise I can't see who it is and I'd love to say hi hi everyone um so and then that's the second section back to that chorus same sort of thing but remember we're starting on G flat and then the E flat then we've got our B minus seven but B flat B flat minus seven sorry B flat in the bass A flat D flat F in the right hand a G minor 7 so G in the bass and then essentially a B flat major chord in the right hand so what I'm doing with that chorus is keeping the F at the top the whole time so we've got this chord same chord in the right hand but changing the bass then our B flat minor 7 and then our G minor 7 so that F is at the top the whole time for the chorus Okay, so that's a quick run through the verse. Uh, essentially, we've got that's the verse repeated, and then the chorus is F at the top, remember? G flat, E flat, B flat minus 7, G minus 7. Okay, you might want to watch over that again just to get that in the brain. Now, if you don't know how the song goes, I guess I suggest you have a listen to it on Spotify. There are a few versions. There's the original version by Leanne Le Havis. There's a remix, which is definitely worth listening to, um, by SKVKD, SVD, 
someone it's three letters um but it's a really cool remix and and i'm gonna play it for you as well now so uh yeah so i'm gonna play that for you um i'm going to do that this isn't uh, i was gonna i was gonna say disclaimer this isn't gonna be perfect but it doesn't matter i'm just going live just for fun okay I don't sing very often these days, so we'll see. <coughs> Have a little drink of water. Wait, no, my water is very far away. Okay, we'll just go for it. <laughs> Big sniff.
We are unstoppable. enjoyed that that was unstoppable by leanne la harvest have a go at that riff if you want to learn that rhythm let me know it's pretty tricky and even trickier to play and sing at the same time so i hope you appreciated that have an awesome week you're unstoppable yes let's take that and in through into the week and be super cheesy but also unstoppable love it okay have a good week you guys